So, you want to learn how to make emotes and upload them to your Twitch that represents, you know, what you're all about, like this emote right here, you know? You want to upload that to Twitch? Well, you're in the right place for that. Let me show you how I did it. Super easy, super simple. Let's go. to do everybody today i'm gonna show you guys how to upload and create an emote for your sub loyalty badge or the subscriber badge or the emote that's next to your name that represents however given months you've been subscribed to any given channel okay so i'm gonna show you how to do that using two different programs gimp this website right here and 3d paint it's super easy okay so first thing you're gonna do you're gonna want to go to over here to gimp and you're gonna click on this download button. I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do this. It's super dumb easy. I mean, super easy. All right, hit, hit download, right? And then you wanna go down here to this orange button. Download it directly. <clears throat> and then on the bottom right here, just click here. And then hit open when done. Or you can just wait till it's done and then just click on it however you wanna do it. Okay, and then this will pop up. Hit install, let it do it all, it's extracting, whatever it needs to do, let it do that, and then we'll be right back with you, okay? Oh, it's taking, it's taking forever, forever. But yeah, be patient with it, man. This, this seems to be taking quite a bit. I don't know why it's taking so long, but while you're waiting, go potty, grab you a snack, grab all the emotes you need to make, in one spot so you're ready to go you know don't don't waste your time sitting here looking crazy all right so after about a million gajillion years this pulls up just go ahead and hit finish all right and then we're here now this is the gimp i know it kind of looks overwhelming but it's gonna be super easy i'm telling you we're maybe gonna use three buttons total we're gonna use file new and then we're gonna use a uh, delete and I'll show you, I'll show you everything. All right, anyways, so from here, you're gonna wanna grab, you're gonna wanna go to your page, your Twitch. I, I'm running a rerun, a selfish, shameless plug. But you're gonna wanna go to your creator dashboard, okay? You go to your creator dashboard. Then you're gonna go to preferences right here. Click on preferences, click on affiliate. And then come down here to loyalty badges. Click on that bad boy. And then see, look, I already got my, the base emote, my base badge, my two month badge. And now I'm working on my three month badge, okay? I'm gonna show you how, guys, exactly how to do that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go down here to where it says manage badges. Click on that. And I wanna make my three month badge. So if you still gotta make your base, do your base, your two month, your three month etc etc anyways i'm gonna click on three month okay so the first file they want is a 72 by 72 so what we're gonna do is i'm keeping a halloween theme <laughs> horror is my deal and this is the one right here this 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 is the one i want to make as my three month badge so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna crop it because obviously i don't want all this. this these are panels i'm gonna use the emote out of a panel show you I'm gonna crop it okay so let me crop it so right about there up oh, a little more right about there that seems to be good I'm gonna save a copy of it and there it is okay easy peasy I'm gonna go back to that image wherever you saved it to wherever the uh, file is located go back to that you're gonna want to right click this okay right click it Open with Paint 3D. Okay, easy peasy. Then right now I gotta get rid of this this little nastiness right here. This this extra stuff that I don't want. So I'm gonna go here to eraser. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and then I'm gonna erase all this. Okay. You don't have to make it perfect because remember it's going to be a super super small emote so you don't have to be extremely perfect with it but 
Go ahead and delete all the extra stuff that you don't want. Like I said, look, look I'm, I'm drawing kind of crazy, but it'll still come out pretty dang good. All right, that's, 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 that's about good right there. All right. But if you're a perfectionist and you want to make this perfect as humanly possible, take your time, do what you need to do, polish it up, and go ahead on with your life. Anyway, so after that, we got to make the background transparent. You got to have a transparent background. All right, so we're going to go up to here, Canvas. Click on Canvas. Make sure this button right up, oh, you can't see it, hold on. Make sure this button right here, transparent, is set to on, okay? It might be off for you when you first start it up, so make sure it's on. All right, and then you're gonna go to the magic, select right here, click next. And then for me, it already pretty much took away all the background that I needed to take away. For you, it might not be that simple. You might have to take the remove, the eraser right here, and kind of draw all around it to remove the background from it. Whatever you don't want showing, you're going to have to erase and delete. But for me, it pretty much already did it perfectly to a T. Easy. So you're going to want to go to here. You're going to click on done. Right, and then what you're gonna do now, this took me a while to figure out. You're gonna select the image, you're gonna pull it to the side. Okay, pull it away from the, the canvas here. And then you're gonna go back to uh, brushes up here. Click that thickness all the way up. Erase all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Erase all this, go back to select, put this up, select it. Put your bad boy back in there and then tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Boom. Just like that. Easy peasy. And then, I mean, uh, yeah, pretty much that's pretty good right there. Go to menu, save as, you're going to save it as an image. Look, transparent background. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Anyways, go ahead and uh, save this bad boy to wherever you need to save it at. I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to put, uh, mm, I'm going to just write mask badge. Mask badge. Save it. All right, and then you can close out of this. And then boom. Where the heck did I save it at? I saved it under Twitch, my Twitch folder right there. We good, we good. All right, make sure you keep this open though. Keep this folder open, okay? And uh, But minimize it. And then go back to your GIMP app. Pull up your GIMP app right here. And remember, the first one we have to make, always start with the bigger one first, is 72 by 72. Go to your GIMP app, hit File, New, your width is going to be 72. The height will be 72. Perfect square. Hit OK. Boom. Then what you're going to do is pull your image in. All you got to do is drag and drop. Boom. Drag and drop. Easy peasy. Then right here on the right-hand side, you see the background? Go ahead and right-click that. Delete the layer. Delete it. Boom. And then go back down here. Right-click. Scale layer. And make it the same size 72 by 72 scale boom your boy your boy is in there nice let's go all right and then all you gotta do from there is hit file export uh go to whatever folder you want to go to i'm gonna go with my twitch folder i'm gonna name this mask badge oh i'm gonna name it mask badge and I usually just go ahead and name it whatever size it is. So 72. You can name it whatever you need to. And then hit export. Hit export. Boom, boom, boom. And then come back to your uh, your creator dashboard right here. Under preferences, under affiliate. 
under loyalty badges you're back on this screen right here make sure you're on a three month or base two month whatever you need click on upload image on the 72 by 72 click upload and then go back to wherever your file was saved at mass badge 72 click on it <laughs> boom that boy in there let's go and then now for the 36 by 36 the exact same thing go back to uh, go back to your GIMP file new 36 by 36 okay boom go back to your folder your mask badge drop it in there delete the background layer scale your other layer back to 36 by 36 hit scale <laughs> easy click export save it mass badge 36 whatever name you want to do name it as such export it export it go back to your thing click on the 36 by 36 36 by 36 upload that joint easy now 18 by 18 same exact thing you just previously did go back to your gimp file new 18 by 18 okay drop drag and drop your file your emote your picture delete the background layer scale the new layer 18 by 18 scale that joint up boom <laughs> save it i mean export it i'm sorry mass badge 18 export export minimize minimize upload an image go to your 18 and there you have it and then all you got to do is make sure you hit upload badge uh make sure it says it's confirming it's your own you're, you own your own rights to the image hit save boom right there you got your loyalty badge your subscriber badge it's as easy as that, man. So yeah, just to recap on all that. All you need for your uh, emotes, for your subscriber badge, loyalty badges, whatever you want to call them, all you're going to need is GIMP. Go to GIMP.org or follow the link in the description. I'm not paid by them. They, you know, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just truly love that software. It's easy to use. It's stupid dumb easy, for real, for real. Uh, 3D Paint. I'm pretty sure you... Yeah, you just... Do 3D paint, follow those steps, polish up your emote. You can find tons of emotes online for free. Just Google, you know, free emotes or take a picture of yourself and just do the same thing. Just delete all the background noise that you need. Uh, edit, polish it up, edit it how you want it. Send it over to GIMP uh, and, and make it the size you need to. Uh, what is it, 72, 36, and 18? Yeah, just make it those sizes upload them upload the badge and you're good to go it's easy peasy lemon squeeze hey django tell them buddy yo the django it's easy yeah it's easy it's easy man if i could do it if i can do it i know you can do it so yeah in the comment section let me know was it easy what did i do something wrong did i do something right that you liked Get it right, get it tight. Anyways, I do want to, uh, one side note, I went back and fixed the mask. I kept the yellow on the ears. On the, I don't know, I kind of like the yellow, uh, the trim it had around it. I, I went back and fixed it up, and I kept the yellow. I think it looks better with the yellow. But yeah, other than that, man, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash TraviRad. Link in the description. Come check out your boy, man. Come vibe with us uh monday wednesday fridays sometimes saturdays it all depends i usually be on at 5 p.m central standard time check me out man i do appreciate everybody subscribe like if you do like what you saw i appreciate y'all man until next time i'm out